Hi, Vince Campy here. We're going to look at some Dreamweaver basics, get started with a couple of tables, embed them, and understand a little bit about uh, web design. Okay, so now let's open our application. We're working in Dreamweaver CS3, and um, what we're going to do first is we're going to create a new HTML, HTML page. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so your uh, desktop will look a little bit different than mine because mine is, uh, the, because of the resolution I'm recording at, um, it's a little squinchy. Okay, you know, squinchy. Okay, so now, basically, this is the main toolbar you're going to be using is the common toolbar here. Look along here. If you have, if your windows are different than these, this is your, um, the palettes you have here, the files, CSS, if this is different, you might want to go to Window, Workspace Layout, Default, and that'll get it back to this basic window. And so we'll be working together on this. Okay, what we want to do first is let's define a site. So let's go up here to the Site window. Click on there, New Site. Okay, we're going to name this New. Okay. And just go ahead and hit the next button. We do not want to use server technology right now. Okay. And where on your computer do you want to store the files? We're going to edit them on the local machine. So let's click on this folder right here. Let's click on the little house, wherever you're going to store the, the file. We're going to go to site. We'll put a new folder in there. We're going to call it New. Clever. I'm typing in all lowercase right now because it's just a little easier for the machines to talk to each other when you're using all one case or the other and it seems like lowercase is the standard. So I'm going to create that new folder right in there. I'm going to choose that folder. Okay, now that's set up. Enter a return. You want to uh, connect to your remote server. Right now, none. Okay, next, and then this is our setup. So go ahead and hit the enter, return key again, and now we have our new site right here. Okay, now let's go ahead and save this file. So go to File, Save As. Okay, we're going to call this index. When a server um, looks at your, your site folder, it's going to look for the index page, and that's going to be the home page. So index, here we have it in new, so then we'll go ahead and hit save. Now we have our index page in there. Okay, what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to just click on the page in the white document. I like to work in the code, or this, actually the split view. I can kind of see what's happening with the code, and um, and lets me work on the uh, design view as well. This is full code view right here. There's all the HTML code there. Split, partially design, partial code, and design view. The reason I like to work in the split is because a lot of stuff happens in the code. Sometimes you can't adjust it or edit it properly in only the design view. So I'll work in split view. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to embed a couple of tables. This is a real standard way of building a uh, building the structure of your page. Okay, we're not doing full CSS right now. Okay, so just click here. And up here in the common, you go over this, it says table. So we're going to insert a table. So click there. Okay, rows. This we're going to do a one by one, because our whole page is going to be inside this cell. So rows, one. I just hit the tab key. Columns, one. Table width, 100%. We're going to go ahead and make this, let's go with 800. So between 750 and 800 is a real solid uh, width to go with. So, we're gonna, instead of percent, we're going to make this pixels. Okay, and make sure your border thick thickness is zero, cell padding zero, and spacing is zero. It's good to tell the other browsers that you, you know, that you go to on the web what you want this to be, because it'll, it'll decide for you if you don't tell it. So, we'll do that. Now, go ahead and hit OK. And now we have a one cell a table in here, and that's what we want. That's where we're going to build things in. So now, right down here, 
go ahead and click on that table to make sure it's selected. And then, let me move this up a little bit. Align. Let's put that in the center. Because I want the whole website to be aligned in the center. And if this table is aligned to the center, then everything in it will be centered as well. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Apple Command S to save that. On Windows, it will be Control S to save it. Okay. Now, I'm going to click inside this table. You can see we're in the body tag right here and the table. And here's the attribute you just gave that table. Okay. Click on that table. So now we're going to click inside the table. Make sure the cursor is blinking inside the table. It's very important. Okay, because if it's not, it's not going to embed this new table inside there. But what I want you to do first is click the Enter Return key. You see now the table expanded a little bit, and now you totally know that you're inside. Also wrote it, wrote it, <laughs> added a table row tag right here. So now this is the opening table. Here's your table row. Uh, it changed that data right there. And here, let's undo. Let's keep an eye on this. Apple Z. Oops, got rid of the whole table. Let's put it in again. Click right there. Go up here to the insert table or table. Click there. Now this has the same attributes already in it. A one by one table, 800 pixels. Border thickness zero, padding zero, cell spacing zero. Okay, now we have that in there. Okay, let's make sure that's selected by clicking down here. And the alignment, let's go ahead and make that center. Okay, now the table is going to be centered. Now again, go ahead and click inside the table here. Make sure the cursor is blinking inside and hit return. You'll know you're inside because the table expands when you hit that uh, return. Now, it's very careful. We're going to go and we're going to click right here at the top. So now there was a, um, you can blink down here or it could blink up here. See how it's blinking towards the top? We're going to put this in another table in here. This is going to be where our header is going to go, the banner across here. So that's clicked up there. I'm going to insert another table. So click right there. Now this also is going to be a one by one table. The width now though is going to be 100%. See, it's going to be 100% of the other table. So it's going to fill this table all the way across. Border thickness, zero, zero, zero. And let me zoom out a little bit. Hit OK. And now we have this table embedded inside our other table. You see, you can tell right here in the code view, here's your table width. And right here, we have another table tag starting. Right there. And this one uh, is 100%. So now this is inside the other table. Starts. You can tell because these tables close down there. And this table closes there. So this one is embedded inside the other table. Okay?